here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. I can't keep a good man down. You cannot keep me from talking because I'm Tom Grayson. I'm the host of Gun Talk, and that's what we do here. We're talking about guns. We're at the NRA's annual meetings in Indianapolis, Indiana. By the way, if you want to make plans for next year, it's going to be in Dallas. I would encourage you to be there. Joining me right now is our old friend, good friend, Tom Taylor from Sig Sauer. How you doing, partner? Doing great. How good. you doing? I'm good. You got lots of people in your booth. A little crowded. <laughs> a little crowded, he said. A little says. crowded. So it's uh, pretty good crowds everywhere. Well, it is everywhere. Um, usually you get a huge crowd on Saturday. Yeah. I mean, I was just kind of knocked out when I walked in here and went, wow, there's a lot of people here on a Friday morning. I mean, Friday morning people are here. And usually Friday afternoon people get off early a little bit, but yeah. it, it's, I don't know what it is, but, no, but there's a lot of people here. It's been steady all day. We've been, we've been crowded and... Um, that's just it's you see that all the people that come see the booth and we you know we've had the, I was telling you earlier some VIPs come by some couple of governors and yeah you had uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders uh, no uh, Asa Hutchinson from oh, Arkansas oh Arkansas yeah okay. and then uh, we had Chris Sununu from uh, uh, our home state of New Hampshire but actually Arkansas is our home state too because that's where ammo's made so right, uh, right. So yeah they came by our our uh, our governor from Oregon didn't come by um, don't no. know why they wouldn't come visit can't, right can't imagine right <laughs> there you go. Uh, before we went on, you were telling me about, and I, I was going to ask you about it anyway, but we'll just transition right into it, the, the ROSE program, the ROSE line of guns, and now you just had your first event with the ROSE. Start from the beginning. What is this? Yeah, so ROSE, you know, is, is just amazing women's program. You know, Lena Michalik, who's been, as you know, she's I've known Lena since she was a child, as you have, I think. Yep. And, she's uh, still a child, really. Uh, yeah, she's still a child <laughs> to, to me and you, for sure. Um, I've got sweatshirts older than her, but... Um, <laughs> You know, she's won everything you can win in women's professional shooting sports. And I mean, more she's, than that, she is one of the best instructors I've ever been she's around. She's a great teacher. Uh, she's been doing, you know, she was all the way back to her, working with her mom and Deb Ferns on Babe's Bullet. She was doing that when she was a teenager. Right. So she's been teaching women for a very long time. And so she became, you know, as, as I said, she wins everything. And so two or three years ago, she started diverting a little bit and sort of saying, I want to do more for women. I want to, I want to find a way to reach women and, and make shooting fun and enjoyable and, and not so intimidating and you know she's got a fun personality and she's anyway. a sig pro shooter she's a sig professional shooter and you know, she's if her dad's you know the greatest male shooter to ever live you know she's certainly the probably the greatest female shooter to ever live so the genes are great she's a wonderful competitor but she's also you know last year she was the uh, most influential person in the industry on the gundy awards and right. her social following is tremendous and so we began to talk about how, how do we do this and how do we not do the stereotypical stuff of just building a pink gun. And, right, uh, right. So, yes, we came up with it with some guns. They're, they're black. They have rose gold accents. Uh, the program is called Rose by Sig Sauer, as you mentioned. But uh, more than just the guns, the gun comes in a package with a safe. It comes with uh, dummy rounds uh, to, to learn how to load your gun. But most importantly, maybe, it comes with a, a card with a welcome message from Lena, and there's a QR code. You go in there, and there's 18 videos and growing. Everything from, I've never been to a gun store, what do I do? I've never gone to the range, what do I pack? What are the safety rules? How do I draw? How do I do? So it's got just this, this uh, sort That's of foundational program. Fantastic. And then, and then, so we've got all that going just with it, that you can watch these videos, but we also want to have uh, ladies interact with her. So last week we had the Rose Retreat in Nashville and had, uh, the first one was mostly influencers. Tulsi Gabbard joined us, which was phenomenal. Um, and it was 24 women, so we did this prototype of what would it look like if we did something called the Rose Retreat. Phenomenal success, so it's something that we want to build on and start okay. offering those at some point in the future uh, where ladies come and they, they go to the range, but they also have seminars. We had a we had a concealed carry fashion show, you know, because women carry right. differently than we do, yeah. right? And oh, yeah. so... Um, and and then just the uh, the events at night, just, it's just a different vibe than like a, we do our camp legions and some things like that. Right. But, but doing an event for women had had to require a lot of different thought. Women put it all together. Mm -hmm. A lot of our staff at, at SIG that are women are the ones who help with the gun design, help with holster design, help with all these different things that we're working on. So it truly was a, a program built for women by women, not, you know, a bunch of men trying right. to understand what a woman needs and wants and those sorts of things. Let me ask a quick question here. We don't have to spend much time on it, but you know, it's kind of the elephant in the room that everybody's talking about right now. There's all these crazy stories about the SIG P320. Uh, um, and we were talking the other day, and you said, yeah, give me one minute, and I can take care of that. Yeah, I think so. You know, there's these allegations started that, 
you know, the P320 can go off by itself. And uh, somehow it always happened to be police officers, no disrespect. But uh, uh, and then a, an unfortunate thing happened. Um, lawyers started jumping in and trying to convince people that guns can go off by themselves and it saves jobs and things like that. And so um, we've been fighting this. And recently the Washington Post issued just a complete hit piece, even after we against our better judgment, engage with them you, and answer. You did a full interviews with them, the whole deal. We, we, we gave them three rounds of questions to, okay. to debunk the, their theories about how guns can go off by themselves and all these lawsuits that we're, we're facing. But what's happening, to summarize, we've won a jury trial. We've had two dismissals. We've had another one that's been recommended for dismissal. So systemically, we're, we're, the court cases are being dismissed because the bottom line, the, the summary statement of this is, no one's ever replicated a gun going off by itself or how this 320 can, the phenomenon of a gun going off without a trigger pull. No one's ever replicated it. And Am I correct that the, almost all of these happen when somebody is reholstering? They're reholstering or some form of movement. Whether they're, they're it, we've, manipulating we, the gun. We, we've, had, we've had seat belts wiggle their way into the, the, between the holster and the trigger, and we've had guys get out of cars. Guns go off the with a seat thing. belt tab, on a, particularly on a Dodge Charger where the seat belt yep. is a long, thin Okay. Finger-shaped thing. Gets in the trigger guard. So there's that. There's toggles on coats. There's definitely a lot of holstering and unholstering issues. But, of course, it oftentimes makes sense for somebody to say it just went off because jobs are at stake, pensions are at stake, those sorts of things. Right, because if they say, I screwed up and shot myself, that's bad. It cost them their job. It's somebody yeah. else's. Well, it, in my experience, what I have found with all these things is that if you pull the trigger on a gun, it'll go off. Absolutely. Whether it's, you pull it your, with your finger or you pull it with something else, yeah. it will do what you told it to do. Something made that gun go off, and, and this whole theory that, that it can it can magically go off by itself is is preposterous, basically. And then juries have found that tr to be true. But judges have dismissed but the it. Ju but the lawyers are chasing the money, Tom. Absolutely. And there's so there's you know there's a number of these cases that are going on. They've actually they're beginning to tweak their story a little bit. They're saying they're not saying it goes off by itself. They're now saying the 320 has a higher propensity to go off than other guns for some what reason. That even we mean? don't even know what that means. But the bottom well, line they're is... they're failing with the other other ideas, yes, so they're, they're coming well, up they're with losing. Once they start losing yeah. one theory, then they're going to go to another theory. But no one's ever replicated it. And more importantly, the subject matter, and I'm using air quotes, experts that have been involved in these trials have all been disqualified as, as not being a subject matter expert. But no, mean, one's it, ever it, even, no one's ever, even ever offered a theory as to how this can happen. There's no theory of how a gun can go off without a trigger pull. And there's certainly no replication of it that, that can be shown. And so but when those two things exist, you don't have a court case. Right, exactly. Okay, well, in the Washington Post, I mean, we just saw what they did with AR-15, the hit job there. They hit you guys with a hit job. Honestly, and I know you guys know this now, doing an interview with them really doesn't help your cause. No, no. Cause, we, we, cause they're we, not out to, to report. They're out to slam. We said maybe we have so many facts here. We're just going to cover them up with facts. Yeah, how could they possibly get this wrong if we show them what the truth is? Yeah, yeah except they're not interested in the They truth. even found a way to turn a video of a school guard who was playing with his gun in and out of his holster. They edited the video to make it look as if he was just reholstering, and they said it cost him his career. All he was doing was reholstering his gun. One might ask, if you knew anything about guns, why was he reholstering his gun in a, a it, middle school it, it cafeteria? Was in a middle school cafeteria. What are you doing grabbing on your gun and, and fiddling around with it anyway? Yeah. So they took the video and they, they showed him putting it back in. They didn't show so the they, multiple they, times he touched they it. They altered the video. They, they didn't know. Well, no, they cut it down. They cut it. That, look at that. Yeah, yeah, that's altering it. Now, yeah. And they if you don't show it, the whole and, thing, yeah. They yeah. said he was only reholstering his gun. So like I said, if you know anything about guns, standing in the lunch line next to a bunch of children why was it out? If that was true, right. why was it out of the holster in the first place? Well, there you go. Okay. I, I had to ask the question, yep. so there it is. Okay. Yep. So what do you guys got new that's fun? Oh, my goodness. We talked about Rose. Uh, the P320 AXG Legion seems to be everyone is really loving that gun. It has two really key things. It has uh, the, the AXG grip or the metal grip, right. which makes the 320 essentially a metal gun, which right. people seem to love. When Feels we, great. When we've done that. But this one, we really, when we did the P320 Spectre Comp last year, these compensators uh, in the, on the top of the slide are making even more difference than we thought our engineers thought they would make. Huh. So whether you look at it on the 320 or the, the like the 365 X Macro Comp, this compensator is making a huge difference in recoil. The AXG grip adds that weight, and then the ergonomics of the 320. 
Our engineers keep vectoring and, co and coming in finer and finer ways. There was the TXG grip, the tungsten infused polymer grip, which is right. a little heavy that Max Michelle uses in competition and, right. and, and things like that. But we just keep experimenting with weights and, and materials and compensation to, to make these guns more and more shootable. So when people shoot that gun, they absolutely love it. And so that's here uh, today, and, and we've, we've officially launched it. We've also launched a, uh, a new uh, red dot optic called the M17. Oh. So the Army has uh, said they really want SIG to integrate an optic onto their gun because we were not the first choice uh, right. in that contract when we won the handgun. Right. And so that's being launched. That's only for the M17 or commercial variants like the commemorative okay. or the surplus. But within the next three or four months, we will have a commercial variation of that M17 optic. Super sharp, low profile. Uh, you don't need suppressor sight heights to co-witness the sights, and it's a wonderful new product. So those are two of the headliners, along with Rose yep. and Shoot Sig and, and a lot of other fun lot, things. All at uh, sixhour.com. Absolutely. There you go. Tom Taylor, thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. Always a pleasure right. to have you here. Absolutely. You know, whether we're on the radio or not, we're just talking guns and having fun. So always. There always you go. Fun. All, right. all right. I'll see you a little further up the creek there. See you ya. take care. Oh, man, that's fun stuff. Talking with my buddies here. Um, we got some more lined up where we talk about bullets and ammo. And let's see, what else? Oh, building guns coming up. We got a lot of stuff happening right here at the NRA annual meetings. Oh.